Hey, Orange One here. So we're back in Unreal World. We're back near our base. I checked the traps. There's nothing in them. But I did want to show you that up here, up to the northwest, we have a cave. I, I did a little bit of... Wait, was that a bear? I think that was a bear. I'm like almost positive that I just saw a bear. Yeah, we want to be careful about that. We don't want to run into a bear. That's a, that's a good way to end this, uh, this character. You know, speaking of which, I'm a little bit nervous about going into a, this cave system. We do have a javelin. Um, actually, you know what? Let's switch this out so that we have our splitting axe as well. Um, I I want to keep the javelin out just in case we need to use anything. We go with the javelin. Um, and let's try and find this entrance to this cave. I think I've heard that it's like, oh, what's this? Is this it? Oh, I need sleep. It's uh, the small hours. Maybe I should just go to sleep here. Maybe not out right outside a cave that might have like creatures living in it. I don't know. Maybe we'll just go down out here a little bit. I'll just, we'll let our character just take a little nap. This afternoon, it's fine. So yeah, also we have the flu. I don't know how or why, but we do. Oh no, was I... I was supposed to be cooking. I I totally have like this fish and I was by that fire to cook. What What's this? A sm, uh, small bear leading northeast. Um, okay, well that's... Probably meaning that the bear lives in the cave. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we should be hanging out by that cave. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is where like we have like these little villages up here. I wanted to find some good marshland because I've heard the marshes are a great place to find um, reindeer. Like open mire, I think that's kind of what we're looking for. You know? Okay, we're actually super hungry right now. We need to eat. Let's just find ourselves a little tree. Are these just regular trees? These are regular trees. Okay, this is a forested area. I want to get a little uh, fence trap, so I'm hoping to find an area to do a fence trap and maybe possibly kill some animals. I'm not sure. We'll see. Let's, um, you know, actually do what I was getting ready to do before I started the episode. It's, uh, it's a fire. We, we really do need to. I've been kind of like living off the land a little bit in between this episode and the last episode. Um, yeah, and we're just going to kind of hang around here for a little while while that's going. We also need some water, but I think in the mire we can get water. Half an hour. I'm just going to wait. I know I'm as hungry as a bear. Well, it's a good thing. I'm as thirsty as a bear, apparently. Smells like it's ready. Cool. Let's eat some of that so that we don't start starving ourselves. Cool. That's good. Let's just wait a little bit longer. Nice. Okay. So I think that that's good for there. The mire. Do they, is there water in a mire? Is this like drinkable water? I think that this is drinkable water, right? Ice. Uh, we're going to have to break into it. Okay. Yep. Do it. We need, we need the water. It's super gross that we're drinking from like a little pond right now. Maybe that's why we have the flu. I don't know. <laughs> Could be part of the, part of our issue here. Let's try and find, um, like a nice little outcropping. What, what I'm looking for. Okay. Now it's getting actually to be night. Um, are we near a village? Not really. I went on this huge excursion. There's this little lake here and river, which we might be able to set up like something kind of in between them is what I'm thinking. 
Okay, we might also just run into some animals walking around at night right now. That's another thing that can possibly happen. It's a good thing that we've got this javelin ready, just in case, you know. And this is definitely no man's land right here. I think what I was thinking of doing was, yeah, just basically going north of here. Let's eat our food. We're super hungry. Oh, what's this? It's a hare. Uh, can I hit a hare? With my wielded javelin there? I don't think I will be able to. Yeah. Let's just get our javelin back then. I, I doubt that we'll be able to get that hair. I might try and just sneak up to it though, because I do want to level up my my stealth. It's the best way to really get good at this uh, this whole hunting thing. We might also be able to sneak up on like a sleeping animal if you do this like carefully enough. You can potentially do that. It's it's kind of tricky, but you can. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find the hair. Um, so what we could do is we've got this right here. This is kind of sketchy to cross, but if you ever need to cross uh, a body of water um, that's ice like this, if it's warmer, you wanna be prone. And you probably also want to have like a knife or I, th I think the javelin helps, like pointed items help you get grip in case you fall in. Like I did the, I think it was at the end of the last episode, right? So yeah, I'm thinking, oh, I can go on the ice. I'm thinking setting up like a nice little fence trap, like between here and that river, you know, like here and there. I've heard that that can be very effective. And then animals, they're going to cross through here and if you can kind of block them, it's it's super 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 effective so basically i need like a little base somewhere around here and then we just need to find some trees and kind of go with where the trees are thick and build uh fences where it's not we also probably want like a little shelter i think that we'll have our shelter near the water though it's uh okay we're, we're pretty much on the water now cool yeah, it's actually just be like on the water Yep, go ahead and make a little hole. We're going to be drinking from here. So let's see, I probably, uh, we're going to probably want like a little shelter here. And it's going to be like, you know, very similar to what we've done before. I have a shame. I kind of feel like I, I wasted things. Okay, uh, we need three trunks and twigs. Okay, that's super easy. The twigs we can get here. Uh, let's see, branches, twigs, perfect. Uh, that's only 10. I think I need a lot more than that though, didn't I? It could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I needed more. And then we need three slender trunks. So we need like, uh, like a little tree like this. This'll do. If it gives me three, then I'll just, yep, I'll just build it right here. Perfect. And hey, we got a little, little shelter. We got some food. We can like fish as we need. So here, let's see, we're going to basically go diagonal from here down. I think that, that that's just going to be the rule. Okay, so we'll have the fence basically it doesn't have to be like complete, but it really helps if it is. It would be nice if we could get some trees that kind of go near the water. Oh, this is a nice little thick part. Oh yeah, this is this is what we want to attach onto right here. Like this is basically a wall. Just need to add like a little fence to the end here. Okay, so let's see. What do I need to do to make a fence? A fence. 
If I wanted to build that, I would need wooden stakes and some tying equipment. Okay. Um, oh, I, the issue is going to be the tying equipment, I think. Because we can make the stake super easy. Let's see the... Um, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I think so. Sorry. Um, this is probably going to take a long time is, is the thing. I was just like thinking like, okay, how am I going to really do this? So we need to do the stakes, which I think is lumber, right? Yeah. If I wanted to do, oops, I think I just pressed the wrong button there. Lumber stakes. Sure. Um, 10 slender trunks. Okay, I think it's just like slender trunks is basically what you need to use. Um, well, luckily for us, we just made a little shelter. So we have some slender trunks. Um, but I think we're going to need a lot more. So let's see. Timbercraft. So we basically just need to cut down a number of these little trees. And then um, let's see. Lumber. Bakes. Uh, I just want to do one, honestly. Just for now. Okay, and then we'll... Oh, hold on. I don't need all that. Those trunks. That that was an accident. But trust me, if... Like, there, there will be animals that come through here, and if we can kind of fence them off, it's going to be really, really nice for us. Um, I mean, this is actually, that's like pretty much there. And there's these stones, which is kind of nice for us as well, which we can, because you can't go over those. So if I do like right here. Or possibly right here, there's, this is a nice little spot where we can just like get them in a line. Yeah, one, two, and then like a little like pit trap somewhere. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Uh... So if we want to do, let's see, buildings, fence, right there, stakes, uh, is it cord, is that what they want? No, I think they need, they want rope, like proper rope. Okay, so we're going to need, I think, the is it the birch bark that you turn into the rope? I think it's birch bark. It could be, I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive. Yeah, it's a, it does not look like the best spot right now because there's a ton of... Um, another problem is, is that we're kind of in a super heavily wooded area and we kind of want a little bit more of an open area. Actually, I don't know if this is the best best uh, spot for this. We might want to follow this river up and see if we can find a more open area. But, oh, there we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. That animal. Oh no, I don't have the thing uh, wielded. Can I throw my javelin? Uh, oh man, I blew it. I totally blew it. Ah. Okay, let's see if we can catch it. I'm gonna see if I can catch this thing. I don't think we will, but I mean, as you saw last time, we had some opportunities where we kind of almost got it. And the thing is, is that we're not on snow right now, so this is going to make tracking a lot harder. You know, like this, this is actually pretty tricky to track right now. Oh, I'm actually completely out of energy. Hold on. Okay, well, oh, there's a Groose or something there. Can I throw my Javelin that? Uh, 
Uh, my javelin hit a pine. Is it? Where is it? There we go. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we got our javelin again. And that whole, why is that thing like not moving away from me? How did I, yeah, miss that. Yeah, I think that it's too small. I think is what it basically just said there. Can I try and hit it again? Nope. Can I get that and then equip? Man, if I had the javelin out with the elk there, I might have caught it. There's too much action going on here. Which activity? Can I see if I can catch that elk? I think I've lost it. Yeah, it looks like we lost it. Okay, well, why don't we go a little bit further up this river and see what can spot. Oh, look, see, this is a little bit more of an open area which you can usually find like reindeer at. Um, okay, I think we we should try and go back to our old camp. Sorry, I just totally overreached there again. I do that so often. Yeah, okay, well, my influence is getting worse. That kind of makes sense seeing how I'm not sleeping properly. Let's go to our shelter. Get some actual proper sleep there. Or eat. Maybe before we do anything, we should do a little fishing. Man, I feel like I've kind of uh, stagnated a little bit with this uh, this character. I felt like we had some kind of stuff going pretty good. But I, I don't know. I think that we need the tying equipment, and there's not the right trees around here, and there's not really the open fields that I would want either. Um... What was I doing again? Oh yeah, I was, I was fishing. Because we need to, and I haven't got a net yet. Can't expect to catch any fish there? Really? Okay. Alright. Fair enough. There's no fish here, apparently. And we could set up a fence here. There might be enough stuff that passes through here, but... We need these these trees to set up a fence. And I think I'll set up like a little fence, so like we'll catch some stuff. Um, but I'm not sure if it really is the best idea or not, because I think that um, from what I was reading online, you want the marshes because that's where like what really spawns the reindeer. You know, like this marsh to the left here. So I think I'm gonna keep on kind of moving on. Trying to explore this way. It is the middle of the night though. So I, I keep on doing this. I keep on exploring at night when I really should be doing this during the day. Because you can see so much better during the day. But we do have our javelin ready and we could come across like some animals that are like asleep or something. My foot apparently feels cold. Boohoo. Um, you can kind of see how I'm kind of like jump, jumping between hills there, trying to find some good stuff. Okay, I think that we're getting to the point where we need to get some, uh, we need to get a little bit lucky right now. Okay, well, we got some water here. That's good. We might want to go fishing there. Might get a little hungry. Yeah, I've gotten like really far away from where we started. I don't know if you guys can see this. I mean... I feel like I've gone far away at least. Okay, oop. 
What what do we have here? Oh, this is interesting. Okay, what do we have here on the map now? Got two lakes. Oh, this looks super easy to fence off right here. Oh man. Yeah, I think that we have to basically do that. I'm just gonna just kind of walk through the woods. I mean, just look at this. This is gonna be so easy to just like honestly just fence off because it's so thick, you know? The question is, is will it be productive in terms of catching much? I think it will. I think that the, there will be a good amount of stuff trying to get around these lakes. They'll have to go through here. Right? Yeah, this looks totally doable. There's even like some down logs and stuff. I like it. I think that this is much, much better than what we were looking at. It's still gonna take some time, as you can see. There's still gonna be quite a bit of fence that I'm gonna have to build. I might do that like off camera a little bit. I don't know. By the time this is aired, I probably will have kind of already done it and figured it out, you know? Okay, I'm pretty much there. It, it is a little bit further than I thought it was. You know? Yeah, if we go to like, let's see. Oh, hold on. What am I doing? I'm going to fall in. I'm not careful. Let's have a little look-see. This looks like a nice little spot there. Kind of looks like that's the furthest it goes. Um, yeah, let's do like, I think this, this right here looks super perfect. But we need ourselves that little shelter. And actually, you know, I think before we do shelter, we need some fishing. And yeah, let's just get a little drink. Okay, at least this lake, it, it's uh, tell, not telling me that there's no fish here. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Um, I mean, I think there's fish here. Ooh. Let's go ahead. We're just going to keep on going. I think we have to. I, I apologize for setting up the base unnecessarily early. Uh, no, don't worry about that. Okay, we got some fish. Great. Well, the nice thing about the bird is that we might be able to trap the bird. We might be able to um, set up a little loop snare or something. I think it's the loop snare that they go for. Um, what is it trapping? What do I need for a loop snare? Three feet of cord. I have three feet of cord. Cool. Let's do it. I obtained a poor loop snare. Um, let's see. Can I, I, how do I use it? Uh, let's see. Here we go. All right, so that's set. And then can I drop a roach on there? The drop, uh, just one, please. And then we'll push that over. There we go. That should hopefully catch us a bird. I don't, I don't, I'm not like super hopeful, but I think it could potentially. Um, and then let's get our little camp. Do that. And then... We'll do something like that. I'm going to push some of these off to the side. I think three. And yeah, all of those as well. Maybe I shouldn't have done all of them. OK. 
Okay, and then I think what we really need to do is, sorry, let's push these um, up there. There we go. Get the fire started first. And how long is that going to go? Several hours. That is perfect. That's all I need. I think it's small because it's raining. Pretty sure. Let's go with these. And then we'll get the other ones on as well. I think we're just going to cook them all. Yep. The fishing in this game, it really, like, you can survive pretty much anywhere. As long as you do, like, enough fishing. You know? Um, can I look for some birch trees? Yes. Okay, so there's some birch trees right there. Can I peel the bark off one of them? We're extremely tired, which is dangerous right now, because we could just totally ruin all of our food. But I think that, yeah, maybe we should just... I don't want to ruin all the food. I don't want to fall asleep and lose it all, you know? Let's just go back. And we'll just kind of be patient. We'll get warm. And... Yeah, our food is it's ready. Sweating a lot apparently. Don't really care. It'll be ready in an hour. Okay, well never mind. We're not waiting for that then. Don't eat the raw fish either. Um so what was I doing? I was trying to yeah, get the spark. Because we need to make rope. And I, I think we're going to need a fair amount of this to make the rope. Okay, well, our our fish is going to be burnt. Apparently I'm really tired. You can crawl back, just please don't fall asleep. Where is it? Where is our little... here. Okay, cool. And then we'll eat some of that. Because I think... It it got um kind of like burned a little bit. I think that we need to be kind of careful. Where's our little fishing hole there? Okay. Yep. Drink from that. I have our fire. Okay. I think was it was it here? I said this was where I said I wanted to have the fence. So let's try and get the rope uh, made, right? Because we got to make... I think that they said they wanted rope. And we we don't have leather. We're not going to have leather. Um, there we go. Oh no, we need to be right by our little thing of water. Okay. I should have remembered that. It hasn't even been that long since we've done this. I don't remember having to use rope like this. Um, last time to make the fence is it like maybe a new new patch or something i mean i played like years ago so i don't know and how much fence is this gonna make me i don't know if this is even gonna make much fence okay um can i get up please okay we're weary Yep, actually, you know what, before we do the fence, we should probably just make ourselves a little shelter, right? Um, yeah, I think we need a shelter. And I also am thinking that I need to look a little bit more... Um, here we go, cool. Now we can sleep. I think I need to research the fences a little bit more and how that works. Also, what's the deal with the influenza in this game? Is there feathers just out on the ice there? What is that? I think that's feathers, right? Oh, lake reeds. Okay, they're just growing under the ice, I assume. Okay, interesting. Um, let's see. Okay. We were going to do a little fence here. Um, the building fence right there. Stakes. Um, some rope. 
No, that doesn't work. I'm I'm confused. I'm very confused. I've got the rope. Did we... What about our cordage? What happened to our cordage? When we made that little loop snare trap, you know? I know the, the loop snaps here, right? Yeah, what happened to all my cordage when I did that? We got rope there. Hmm, very strange. So if we go to tying equipment, we can iron it. Yeah. I'm very confused. If we want to do some of that. Need some cloth. Huh. Okay, I'm going to have to do some research on, on the Googles and try and figure it out. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.